Hey guys, Steve here from the Cook Family Homestead, and today I wanted to do an unboxing video review on this uh, Central Machinery 8-inch 5-speed bench drill press. My wife uh, got it for me for Christmas, and uh, if you watch my channel, you know I love Harbor Freight tools. I know some of you don't by the comments, but I do. And uh, so this is something I wanted, just something smaller. I didn't want a big one that, you know, would be in the way. I wanted something I can move around pretty easy. So let's unbox this and check it out. Okay, so let's open this up and see what's in it. If it's like most uh, um, Harbor Freight stuff, you're going to have to put it together. So let's uh, get it all unboxed and check out what's inside of it. All right, so this is what comes with it here. Not very much. Here's the base here that you need, a bag of nuts and, and washers. Uh, here's your chuck and your drill bit holder uh, for the, that comes in this little box here. Also comes with these, uh, these are your, there's three little arms on here, handles that hook on. That's what you use to, to push down on your drill bit as you're drilling. Uh, and uh, that is your table here that goes on the pole there, as you can see. And um, that's an adjustable one as well. And then, of course, your uh, main unit here on the top, uh, your motor and all that stuff. So we'll get this together real quick and see how it works. So we have this all together, very easy to put together. Just one quick note, this knob here comes uh, by itself and there's nothing in directions to where it goes. So I just looked around it and found where there was a hole here, looked at the picture and figured out that's where it went. So that's where that little, little knob goes. And the other thing too is you have to use a wrench on these bolts down here because a socket will not fit in between there. So. Not a big deal, but I actually went real to, together really easy. Now, this has five speeds, so I wanna show you how everything works on here. First, let's go over to the side here. Here is a switch for your light, and that turns the light on here. That's your light, and actually, not a bad light. It has a bulb on it. I'll put this here so you can see everything over here. This is your depth gauge, so you can set. So when you're going down, obviously there's a stop there. Um, to stop it so you can set that very easy actually has a measurement right there if you can see and turn this the table just easily moves up and down like this not easily you kind of got to wiggle it back and forth like that to get it where you want it but goes up and down pretty easy just tighten it up um, and actually if you had something big big you had to drill you know, like a something big square and you need to put a hole, you could take this table off if you wanted and, and use that. This just hooks on here, if you can see, with two set screws here. I don't know if you can even see that. Hopefully, maybe the light will help there. See if you can see there. <laughs> so there's two set screws there. Now, how do you, on the front here, just one other quick thing is there is an on off switch here. That just turns it on and then back off, but it has a little piece here that pops in and out, if you can see that. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Um, that is a safety, so this switch won't work at all without it. So you just pop it back in, and then you can use it, it turns it on and off again. So pretty neat little safety switch on it. So let me show you how you change these the speed on it. Okay, we'll pop this top up. If you see, there's a belt on here. 
And these are how you change the speed. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Now on here, if you can see, there's a little chart that tells you the speed. So right now, where it's set here right in the middle, that means it's at 1630 uh, revolutions per minute. So that's kind of the middle of the pack there. And then if you go all the way down uh, on your spindle, you, that's how you adjust your speed on it. Now how you do that is this is the motor right here. And if you go down here, you can see there's a little adjustment uh, a, a knot here. So if you loosen that, this motor actually mo can push it, pull it forward like this pulls forward. You can move the belt very easily on there. So that's how you adjust the speed on there. Really not that hard. Close it up again. So that's a nice little <laughs> tabletop drill press. Let's put it to use here, drill a couple things. quick review on the central machinery five-speed drill press I uh, think it'll work out good for what I use it for so I wanted one just to have I didn't want a giant one because uh, I won't use it enough for it to, to make sense for me I wanted one that I could uh, move around if I needed to so this is this does the trick here so uh, we'll see how long it lasts but like I said very easy to put together um, nice and smooth operation and uh, so there it is so thanks for watching God bless y'all